Hey, what's up, everybody? Mac the Duel is coming at you for the TCG Enterprise, where we talk about all your favorite card games. You guys, can I call a list or can I call a list? Oh, my God. We just got the ban list out right now, you guys, and it's effective February 7th, 2020 for Yu-Gi-Oh! So let's start. Protoss, banned. Eva, banned. Samord, banned. Imperial Order. Let's start on these cards. So, Protoss. Wow. Cannot be normal summoner, special su uh, normal summon set. Must be special summon from your hand by banishing the three monster attributes. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Declare one attribute on the field. Destroy all monsters under the field with that attribute. Also, until the end of the turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that attribute. Stupid. 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 And stupid. I'm glad this card is con. I'm glad I never had to face it. So, bye bye Let's go ahead and get on with the next card here. Imperial Order. I called this card. I called it. I personally use this card, but I hate it because it's a very unfair advantage. But with the new striker support that's going to possibly be coming out in the near future, we might maybe end up having something to substitute for this card. But anyways, negate all spells onto the failed. Once per turn, pay the standby phases. You pay seven, uh, 700 life points, and it's not optional. Otherwise, the card is destroyed. So on one hand, it's good. On one hand, it's bad. But you could be the judge. Comment down below. Next card we got is Eva. I never used this card nor faced it, but if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish up to two other light fairy monsters from the field and or graveyard. And uh, the same number, uh, the level two or lower light fairy monsters of different names for the deck to the hand. This will definitely spam. This will definitely spam, especially with new support. So it's actually kind of good, but you guys can comment down below your guys' feedback as to what you guys think about the list. Let's go ahead and get on to the next card here. And the next card that we have is Samorg. Okay, I use this card in my Black Wings, and I understand how much of this thing is on the hate. This is negation, all about negation. So all those bird decks out there get shut down. I know I'm running Black Wings, but even then, I actually took it out just because I hated the combo. It's really, really bad. Gets you onto a setup, and whatever it gets pointed out to, you can negate and end up going with a uh, complete negation loop. So, sorry, but not sorry. Glad this card is gone. Next, we have our limited list. So, we have Destrudo, the Lost Dragon of Fusion. Fairy Tale Snow is back. Astrograph Sorcerer, Lunalite Tiger, Little Lusk, Recital Starling, Monster Gate, and Pot of Desires. Wow. Not bad. Let's go ahead and get on with these cards, you guys. So, first off, Destrudo is finally back after being limited down for quite a few times. Um... Anyways, if this card is in your hand of the graveyard, pay half the life points. Target a level 6 or lower monster you do, and a special summon it. This card's uh, level will get reduced by the targeted monster. Also, place this card on the bottom of the deck. I have zombies. We are using this card. Hands down. You will see an updated zombie deck in the near future. Hands down. And I actually have this card, so stay tuned. Next card we have. Fairy Tale Snow is back. Yes. This card has been gone for uh, quite a while, and it very much upset everybody. But now this thing is back at one. Begs the question as to what decks are going to be using it. Anyway, so this is normal summon, special summon, target face-up monster your opponent controls. Change it to the face-down defense. During the player's turn, banish seven other cards from your hand, field, or graveyard to special summon it. Wow. Hmm. It might get an errata. Astrograph Sorcerer. Holy crap. This thing is wild. Pendulum best deck. I'm telling it right now. During the main phase, you can destroy this card. Take a, a Stargazer Magician from the hand and either place it in the Pendulum Zone or Special Summon it. You can only use that once per turn. If the cards you control are destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, Special Summon this card from the hand. To choose one monster in the Graveyard Extra deck or that is banished and destroy this turn and add it the same one from the deck to the hand. Wow. <laughs> wow. Next card, Lunalite Tiger. Hey, all you Lunalite players out there, get ready because you guys are going to be peeing your pants. Uh, once per turn, target a Lunalite monster into the graveyard. Special summon it, but it cannot attack. Its effects are negated, and it is also destroyed during the end phase. If this card is onto the field, destroyed by a card effect or by battle, you can target a Lunalite monster into your graveyard and special summon it. You can only use the Lunalite Tiger once per turn. This thing got knocked down. It might got knocked down more, but it's only at one. So we might be all right for the moment there. I don't know. You be the judge. Next card. Lyralusk. Get the hell out of here. Rosado Starling. This thing is broken. Broken, 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 broken. 
If it is XYZ sub and you can target a face up monster onto the field, you'll gain 300 attack to defense for the materials attached to this card. Once returned, detach one material from the card. Add a level 1 winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. All battle damage that you take from battles involving this XYZ summon monster is also inflicted to your opponent. What? What? Get out of here. Get out of here. Next card, Monster Gate. I use this one in my Uriah deck just for fun, but I could understand why people would want to get rid of this thing. Limited down to the one. It makes sense. Tribute one monster, excavate the top cards of the deck to fill you. Get a normal summon set monster, special summon it. Send all other cards to the graveyard. Yikes, that's pretty bad. It's pretty broken considering a lot of revival in the decks. Next card, Pot of Desires. What? This actually kind of makes sense considering the fact that the draw power and banish the top uh, 10 cards at the top of the deck. Face down, draw two cards. I know they're trying to push out for the other pot, the pot of prosperity. They're trying to push out for that. Plus, it's a little bit more broken when you have way too many draw spells in the game. It makes sense. Next, we have our semi-limited. A hero lives. Fusion Destiny. Nidir Servant. Salomon Great Circle. And Scapegoat. Let's go! Honestly, I don't run heroes. But they'll get a boost, I guess. Eh. Anyways, a hero lives. If you control no face of monsters, pay half your life points. Special summon a level 4 or lower element from your deck people have wanted this card I don't play heroes sorry not sorry but that's okay this is back at two fine fusion destiny this guy reprinted it out and now it's at two fusion summon a fusion monster from the extra deck that is a little destiny hero on this material using monster that hand of the deck of the field and then you cannot special summon monsters except for dark heroes whatever I don't care Nadir servant Okay, this makes sense because the Albas deck is coming to the C TCG. It makes sense that you need to get this card down. Because if you don't, Dogmatica is going to run the whole format. So it makes sense to kind of chip away down at the Dogmatica little by little. It's not really hurting the deck. Salomon Grid Circle. Wow! Finally, they're giving Salomon Grid something since 2009, I believe, or 2018. Target one, uh, add one Salomon Grid monster from the deck to the hand. Target the Salomon Grid link monster you control that was linked summoned with using a monster of the same name and material. That link monster is unaffected by monster effects this turn except for its own. You can only use one. That's fine. Salomon Grid need a boost. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. Scapegoat. Link summon for days. Yes. Activate this card. You can have special summon monsters this turn. Special summon the three sheep tokens out. And then they cannot be used for a tribute summoner set. So what? Link summon. XYZ summon. Synchro summon. You do not care. I like this. This is fine. Next we have unlimited. I freaking called it. I called all these cards. Except for maybe Skildrin. No, I called Skildrin. I called all these cards. I called every single one. Let's go by the way i don't work for konami but i am actually really hardcore on these lists and i've judged it pretty good nessie i called nessie man here we go dark danger dark world danger dark world deck coming nessie at three wasn't doing anything at two now it will discard it it'll come back special summon nessie from the hand draw one card let's go let's go when I start this metal dragon, let's go! This thing got reprinted, man. This thing got reprinted as a common, and it has two hardcore ones per turn. This thing can definitely come back at three. It should have come back at three, three ban lists ago, but it didn't. Now it's here. Let's go. Red Eyes deck update. Let's go. Perform a pal, Scorbabatic Joker. I don't run pendulums, but it's okay. Maybe I will in the future. This thing should have definitely come back. It was at two. It's now at three. There we go. When it's normal summon, add a performer pal. It's perfect. It needs to be back. It is. e -telly. Emergency teleport. My Cosmo deck. Let's go. Special summon a level three, uh, level one. Uh, special summon one, level three, or lower psychic type monster from the deck or the hand. Banish it during the end phase of this turn. You do not care. You want to get a board set up. I love it. Regeki. I freaking called it. It was either going to be Regeki or they were going to ban 
or sorry, they were going to uh, leave alone uh, Feather Duster or something like that. But I called it. People wanted to have Feather Duster at three. It is not going to be at three. Regeki is at three. People don't care about the monsters so much. They care more about the back row. Scale Drain, the last card. Pay 1,000 life points. The effects of all face-up effects monsters on the field are negated. This thing has not been reprinted for at least the past decade. The past decade. Do you realize how what this means? This is ridiculous. This is amazingly beautiful. Oh my god. So that's it for the ban list, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So awesome. So awesome. If you like what you're watching here, please like and subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and comment down below. Whether you hate it, whether you love it, whether you don't know what the hell to say, just type down on the comments below. I don't know what the hell to say. More decks are coming. Stay tuned, you guys. Happy gaming. Love you all. Stay safe.